D.H. Lawrence published his masterpiece, Women in Love, which was full of caramel ghastliness. <laughs> Mechanically propelled vehicles were licensed for the very first time. At the start of the car tax, the R-38, the largest airship ever built, was launched in Cardington, Bedfordshire. But all these little chaps asked to come along and push it up in the air for the first time. And there it goes! Soaring a person in half was first performed for the public in a London theatre. Fortunately, this chap had a large table to place it on. Hmm, very convenient. Have you gone utterly brutally? St. Ivel Gold is a low-fat spread with only half the fat of any margarine. Gold from St. Ivel. Aim low. Well, there's no aiming low over the pond with dear old Uncle Sam and the golden age of silent film. Charlie Chaplin wrote and starred in The Kid with a young Jackie Coogan. Laurel met Hardy for the first time in The Lucky Dog. And Buster Keaton entertained everybody in the high side by constantly falling over on his dead ear. Ha <laughs> ha, funny stuff, Mr Keaton. But despite everyone's hard work and good humour, there were still acute shortages of foodstuffs. For example, jelly deals, pickled horse testes, and everyone's favourite sundry, cow's milk. Well, Prime Minister Lloyd George certainly knew what to do. He'd look to the sturdy boys and girls of the West Country, in particular Hemiok, for its loose models, cheap labour and train line from Wilts United Dairies. And here we see the first ever recorded drone shot of Hemiok. Eight girls and eleven boys from the Culm Valley were chosen and provided with a new breed of calf, the Dairy Short Horse. Known for its high milk yield and pretty, pretty heads. Hello there, ladies. These young farmer types were entrusted to look after the car for a year. And every two weeks would have received the latest agricultural knowledge. And also, there was time to socialise. And so, the Young Farmers Club movement was formed in 1921 in Hemiok, Devon. And so successful, it soon spread around the country and indeed the globe. I see, somebody's found something rather funny. My goodness me, look at this tiny chap here. He's been given his penny for his packed lunch and off goes. Oh dear, she doesn't look most happy. And here they all are, lining up, the two judges to choose who has done the best. And here they are, taking their animals out for a stroll around buys. Well, I'm off to buy myself a new hat, a young cow, and a ton of dung. Total pep. Hello, me dearios. Here's a milking ballad to encourage cows to give the buttermilk and butter oil, which, when blended with vegetable oil, makes delicious St. Ivel gold. If I say it's for St. Ivel, I do hope you understand. Will you look upon me kindly and obliging fill these cans? Yes, I will, on one condition. Will you kindly warm your hands? Low-fat St. Ivel gold. The best thing from the dairy since butter.
It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, came together, didn't you? Oh, I, I, that's the best ever. It looks wonderful. Seeing it all up there looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah.